So there's a right-wing version of Amazon, and to no one's surprise, it is a grift of epic proportions. I have now spent hours looking at this site, and it's even dumber and more mediocre than you're already thinking. And I'm just gonna give you a fair warning now, this video is kind of petty, I don't care. So the site is called Mammoth Nation. You might have seen ads for it, especially since Elon took over Twitter, like this one, or this one, or this one. But I haven't really seen anyone make fun of it, which is a shame because there is so much to make fun of. They have an entire thing about their logo. The mammoth represents the constitution, the tusks the second amendment, and then the 10 stars are the 10 commandments. It's okay to just think mammoths are cool. Now, as far as I can tell from the many, many, many pages I've been through, you have to have a subscription to access any of the benefits of Mammoth Nation. That's where the real savings are. You've got three tiers for members. Patriot for $25 a year, use promo code AMERICA. Platinum Patriot for $45 a year, use promo code AMERICA. And Lifetime Patriot. Right now for $225 a year, use promo code AMERICA. The thing is, the Platinum Patriot and Lifetime Patriot categories are very similar. Mammoth Nation donates extra funds to conservative causes for both of them. You also get a magnet and a window decal. The only real difference I can see to warrant a 500% markup is a pocket constitution. Hold on, let me see how much this costs on Amazon. $5.79 on Amazon. And this is not a pro Amazon video, by the way, that's just how they market themselves. Which leads me to the main point of this video. Mammoth Nation is very transparently a grift. I can't even find a solid answer on who founded it. This guy, Drew Burquist, always shows up when I look it up, but on his LinkedIn, it just says national spokesman. But based on his entire vibe, it's a pretty solid guess he founded it, and also that he wrote this entire page about savings. So at the top, it tells you, you can save thousands of dollars, which sounds great, but how could you be sure? Luckily, Mammoth Nation sums it all up with the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Conservative guy, conservative gal, family of four, empty nesters. When I started researching for this video, I thought the weirdest thing would be some dumb products. No, it's how Mammoth Nation wants you to spend your money. This is not meant to shame people who love hunting or ATVs, or really most of these products, most of them. There's a lot of stupid patriotic stuff, but the way Mammoth Nation breaks down a supposedly average person's spending habits is bananas. In order to get those savings, you have to spend so much money, and you don't even get the benefit of brands that you've heard of. So honestly, I was just expecting to scroll down an off-brand list of knockoff products, but now I have to do math. Fuck you, Mammoth Nation. So we're gonna figure out how much it took for the conservative guy and gal to get these savings. We'll start with the conservative guy. I'm gonna call him, I don't know, Brayden. Brayden has saved $3,055 in one year with Mammoth Nation. Now they talk a lot about how much money you can save with hotels, and I guess that's what the NASCAR weekend was, but there's no actual information about that unless you're logged in and I refuse to give them money. So we're taking off the NASCAR weekend. That gives us a total savings of $2,241. This notably doesn't include any actual expenses like rent or utilities, but $2,200 seems like a good amount of savings. So let's dive in. Let's start with hunting and tactical gear. Now you may be wondering, what are these brands that Braden is buying? Well, let me tell you. We've got frog lube. We've got extra manly hangers. We've got lots and lots of body armor. And it seems like among all of this, the highest savings I can find is 15%. So we're gonna apply that. If Braden saved $158 and that was 15% of what he normally would have bought, then in one year without Mammoth Nation, he would have been spending $1,053 on hunting and tactical gear. And like, look, I get it, hobbies are hobbies. But do you really wanna commit to frog lube? Is that what you want to do? Because all the other lubes are too woke? Let's move on to Brayden's second very manly pastime, cigars and whiskey. It looks like there's only one brand that sells both whiskey and cigars. It's called Valiant Volt, and Mammoth Nation members get a 15% discount. All of Valiant Volt's products are designed to withstand life's trials and tribulations, from the office to the trials of war. Okay, calm down. Now for going by Valiant Volt's discount, Brayden saved $168 on his yearly whiskey and cigar binge, which means that he usually spends $1,120 a year. Or he would, if not for Mammoth Nation. Next, we got tools and auto. This whole section is so weird. There's no consistency. You got 
travel pillows, laptop skins, aluminum tanks. Wait, oh my God, they sell grill badges. Spice up your grill with aluminum, resin, and stainless hardware. 10% discount if you spend more than $50 on grill badges. I love that. I just don't see a solid theme, but it feels like a lot of it's about 10% or less, so let's get Brayden 10%. Brayden saved 210 on auto parts, which means that without his Platinum Patriot subscription, he would have been spending $2,100. Look, I get it. We all have hobbies, but we haven't even gotten to the power sports shed. I'm just gonna say it, Brayden's bad with money. It does say he saved $28 on his phone plan. What phone plans do they have? Oh, it's Pure Talk. Pure Talk is $336 a year, so we'll just put that in there. I got good news and bad news. The good news is we're about halfway through Braden's insane spending habits. The bad news is we're about to find out how much money he spends on steak. Steaks and grilling. The only grilling accessories I see on here are barbecue gloves and cocktail shakers. That doesn't seem right. Well, we'll give him some steaks. This might be the first brand I recognize, and they're obviously taking advantage of the clout because all it says are members get amazing discounts that change often. Thanks, Omaha Steaks. Okay, there's a total of 18 products on here. What do we get if we look up grilling and steaks on Amazon? Over 10,000 results. Great. Well, fortunately, Mammoth Nation has six different brands of steaks. Unfortunately, five of them have a 10% discount and one of them has a 20% discount, but I don't feel comfortable with the extra discounted steak, you know? I'm sorry, Brayden. We're going with the 10%. So Brayden saved $203 on his carnivore diet with Mammoth Nation savings, meaning that in a year he spent $2,030 on steaks and his cardiologist is making a killing. By comparison, according to Beef Magazine, which is a real thing, the average American spends about $960 on steak at home. For supplements and whey, Brayden would be spending about $392 per year. I don't know, I kind of get that. That feels normal. Um, I think for guys who are really into supplements, but I do like how Mammoth Nation only has like three brands, Green Circle, Grenade, and Baseball. I can't help thinking you could probably find a better deal elsewhere. This one threw me for a loop. I thought Golf Slash Gun Bag was a misprint, but no. There's a brand on Mammoth Nation called Subtle Patriot and you get a 10% discount. Subtle Patriot is America's patriotic bag company. Enjoy patriotic travel bags and covert backpacks that are appropriate for the office. Wait, what? What do they what do they think is happening in the office? I mean, they even have camo bags. What do they think is happening in an office? Especially with this pattern. Look at this, Admiral Patriot. In case you need to blend into a Memorial Day sale. So Braden apparently saved $39 on this golf slash gun bag that he takes to the office. And with the 10% discount, he would originally be buying $390 worth of products. Here's the problem though. I can't find any of these bags that cost more than 250. So Braden most likely got two separate bags and I'm assuming he also got the Covert Man Kit. Exactly what the name suggests, a kit for all your man stuff. Big enough to organize everything you might need to keep your hygiene in check on your next hunt for business, golf balls, or game, while compact enough to pack along anywhere. Oh my God, there's a video. We have our signature patriotic print inside with our six piece organizational system. Moving to the zippers, which are gunmetal finish, with our antique silver metal poles. Have you ever wanted everyone to know that you're cripplingly insecure about your sexuality? Well, boy, do I have the product for you. We are finally at Braden's biggest purchase, his power sports shed. I didn't know what this was. Apparently it's for like ATVs and stuff like that. The problem is when you look up power sports shed on Mammoth Nation, nothing shows up. It's the biggest thing on his list. So instead of that, we're looking up shed, 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 no, not a shed, definitely not a shed. Where are the fucking sheds? Yes, okay, American Freedom Buildings. This is the closest thing we're getting to a power sports shed. Braden saved $1,359. The discount you get with American Freedom Buildings is 10% off your down payment, which means Braden would originally be spending $13,590 on a down payment for a shed. I mean, of course we get to subtract $1,300, but does that really make it better? So far, what we've learned is conservative men are bad with money, but what about conservative women? There she is. Our conservative gal, our little lady. Let's call her, uh, Kaylin? 
Yeah, she looks like a Kaylin. While Brayden is focused on six-figure power sports sheds, Kaylin likes the simple things. I mean, look at this list. Classic woman, spending all her money on suitcases and gifts for her family. The suitcases and wine, the ladies love that. Once again, I have no idea how much you're saving on hotels, and I couldn't find anything for contact lenses, so we're subtracting those from the savings. Now, the main problem with Kaylin's list is that everything is really, really vague, probably because women don't have hobbies. So instead of picking the best deals for each category, I'll just be picking my favorites and applying that discount. So our first thing on the list. In a year with Mammoth Nation, Kaylin saved $178 on clothing and accessories. Let's see what we got here. God, this is so sad. These people really have no personality. Like, I know they love to say that about the left, but I have plenty of hobbies and clothing that aren't this. Ballistics matter, what's that? Let me see. Okay, that shirt goes hard. I'm gonna hand it to him. I like that shirt. I would buy it if I saw it in a thrift store. Huge congrats to this company for having the only aesthetically pleasing logo I have seen. All right, what else do we have? Boldly male and right next to it, brave and beautiful. The two genders. Let's check out brave and beautiful. This is the first thing, Jesus 2024. Ugh, so true, bestie. Okay, if I saw anyone wearing anything from this brand, it's like a neon sign that they're annoying. I don't co-parent with the government. Natural Immunity Club. Oh my God, fuck these people. Defund the FBI. Do they know? Oh my God, okay. There's a Squad Goals t-shirt. Kaylee McEnany, Candace Owens, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Gina Carano, and Lauren Boebert. Oh God, that's a nightmare. Concealed carry bags, great. Carry girl wear, awesome. Flag shirt. They really have nothing else going on in their life. You could not get me to wear this with a gun to my head. But we gotta dress Kaylin. I committed. I'm picking Brave and Beautiful with their 10% discount. That means she spent almost $1,800 at Brave and Beautiful. Are you kidding me? I can't look at this. I can't look at this anymore. Okay, we're going to beauty supplies. Every beauty product in here seems like a knockoff of whatever MLM bankrupted these women in the first place. But the discount is on average 20%. Kaylin spent about $770. I'm a woman, I get it. Cosmetics are expensive. I do think you could probably get a better deal literally anywhere else, but no judgment. Let's look at home decor. Is this my life now? Has normal furniture existed? I can't remember. How does anyone compare this to Amazon? Oh shit, you can get 15% off a flagpole? What other decor do we have? Maybe some signs with words on them? They gotta have those, right? Oh hell yeah. Farmhouse designs, 10% discount, let's fucking go. We got all the hits here. Mother's Day sign with tiny font, mixture of Comic Sans and cursive, mixture of Times New Roman and cursive, fuck yeah. Oh my God, they have signs for your man cave. That way he knows you're always watching. Okay, this looks good. I think we got Kaylin's home decor. She saved $192 at 20%. So she would have originally been spending $960. These signs are like eight to $25. So let's say 15. With that money, Kaylin can buy 64 signs. Thanks, Mammoth Nation. I really like the coffee and tea section because there are only two types. Essential oil, family goddess. And then you have the least gay coffee you've ever drank in your life but there's one exception, soldier girl coffee. And because Kaylin's a boss babe, we're giving her that one. 12% discount, hell yeah. The salted caramel one, that sounds great. So she saved $139, 12% discount. She spent $1,158 on coffee in a year. I don't treat coffee, I have no idea if that's normal. I buy my tea in bulk, like every month and a half, so it's like, 300 bucks a year, I guess. I mean, I genuinely can't qualify this. Y'all let me know. All right, now we got her wine habit. There are two types of wine. I'm going with the more patriotic one, of course, the We the People wine. So she's spending, without Mammoth Nation, $1,130 on wine. And let's see how much their bottles cost. Okay, 20 bucks, which means that's like 56 bottles a year. I don't know, I could see that, especially if you have a girl's night. But how are you gonna carry that wine? Did you think suitcases? Which Kaylin saved $48 on? It turns out that when you type suitcases on Mammoth Nation, all you get is Subtle Patriot, which if you remember, sold golf slash gun bags. Which also means that she is spending more money 
than Brayden on subtle Patriot bags. Now, because it's made for men, I thought maybe they'd have like a more expensive women's version. The closest I found was the Lady Liberty collection, which is like a light blue. So Kaylin's spending like $500 on that. Great. You know, I was tempted to do a breakdown of the family of four and Empty Nester, but I figured that all the other categories can kind of be lumped into the gifts part, which is of course what women spend most of their money on. There's a lot of leeway here, so I thought we'd just play around with it. The games and fun section seems cool. Who doesn't love games and fun? Left Wing Will and the Red Pill. Our game is proudly made in America and was almost canceled after woke designers at a print shop threatened to quit their jobs if the company printed our card game. That is rough, buddy. Oh god, I immediately hate this. The eldest, whomever has lived through the most election cycles, is elected the Don. Okay, yeah, no, I can't do this. Oh my god, there's so many games like this. This is so sad. Fuck it, let's get sadder. Let's look at books. There are... 31 choices on this page. At least one of them is a movie. Biblical Science, American Gulag Chronicles, definitely real. 3D Trump Vision Magazines. I'm gonna level with you. I have no idea what the fuck that means. The description doesn't help at all. Oh wait, shit, there's like a sports and event tab. And there's nothing there. I guess we just give her like 15%, that seems fair. Kaylin's spending most of her money on gifts for friends and family. That's like $1,580. Her yearly total is $7,858 spent on patriotic bullshit. So just to review, this is how much a conservative guy or gal would save with their Mammoth Nation Patriot membership. And this is how much money they would need to spend to get those savings. Not only that, but you're stuck with these weird knockoff brands founded by people who think Karen is a slur. Look, I get it. I'm not the target demographic for this, but it's pretty obvious they don't think very much of the people who are. This happens over and over and over again. As a right winger, you can just slap an anti-woke label on whatever shitty product you made and people will beg for you to take their money, because that's what it always comes down to. Grifting is the life force of the American right. I don't know how long Mammoth Nation will be up. The entire thing is so sketchy. I'm getting a lot of build the wall, go fund me vibes from this, but I don't know, it's just kind of sad. Anyways, support your local businesses, I guess, and um, not these people. I watch conservatives for work, but make fun of them for pleasure. You can find me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram.